Hi there, students. To bind, an irregular verb, bind, bound, bound. Um, binding as an adjective or as a noun as well. Um, bindingly, yeah, I guess bindingly as an adverb would work. Okay, let's see. The basic meaning of to bind is to tie two things together to fix um, something with uh, some sort of rope or some sort of thing to hold them together. So to tie something or someone tightly, to fasten something. Um, let's see, you could buy, if you're injured, you could bind up part of your body yeah, or maybe um, your, you twist your ankle, so you bind your ankle with um, a bandage. Okay, so a prisoner can be bound, tied, hand and foot. Um, a book, uh, a book binder is somebody who joins books together, yeah, a paperback, a paperback binding, that's the way it's bound, a hardback binding, yeah, um, the binding holds it together, um, okay, let's see, to, yeah, this is, this binding is to make the separate pieces of paper into a book, um, okay, you could use this word in cooking, for example, you use a roux, R-O-U-X, which is a mixture of flour and some sort of oil to bind everything together, to thicken it, to join together, to make everything stick together in a solid mass. Um, I guess this word is related to bonds as well. Yeah, the um, the bonds that bind the different parts of uh, a molecule together. Okay, so to bind, to unite. If something binds people together, it makes them feel as part of a group that they have something in common. So I think having an enemy in common very often binds people together. There are political ties which bind uh, France to uh, France, Spain, and Germany. They they bind them together. The language perhaps joins them. It links them. It consolidates them. It binds them. If you're bound by a rule, if a rule binds you, but normally this is passive, if you are bound by a rule or an agreement, you must act in a certain way, you must, you are forced to obey the requirements. So I am bound by law to do it in this way. Um, the, uh, I am not legally bound to sell this to you. Yeah, um, a policeman is legally bound to try to stop illegal things. Yeah, okay, so a treaty binds the two nations. Okay, so to oblige, to force, to require. Yeah, um, okay, you could be bound by convention, you could be tied by convention. Yeah, I feel bound duty bound to do it. I feel tied, compelled, obliged, committed by my duty to do this. Yeah, if you bind something, you tie rope or tape or something around it. Duct tape is brilliant to bind things together. Yeah, okay, to bind, bound hand and foot. Um, yeah, a book binder, a book is bound, the leaves are joined together, yeah, so this book has a beautiful binding, um, okay, so what else with bind, yeah, if you are in a bind, you're in a difficult position, I think this is an idiom, to be in a bind, to be in a difficult position, it's also got the idea that you are very tied, you have very little um, 
room for manoeuvre, yeah, and maybe whatever you choose will le will have unpleasant consequences, yeah. Um, let's see. Please, could you lend me the money because it will help me out of a bind, yeah? Or I'm in a bit of a bind. I've got I'm double booked for class tomorrow. Do you think you could do one of them, yeah? Okay, that so. Um, okay, so in a bind to be in uh, to to uh, to be in a difficult situation. You could also, in British English, say something is a bind. It's boring. So it's a real bind to have to go all the way to class and come back. It's much easier just to do it online. It's a drag. It's a pain. It's a burden. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe if somebody is bound over, they are forced to guarantee to not do something. Okay, wow, that's a lot of binds. Okay, so let's see. To bind, to make secure, to tie together, yeah? To confine, to restrict, yeah? Um, so, um, he is bound... Uh, he's duty bound to tell the truth, yeah. Or maybe somebody could be um, uh, bedridden or bed bound, chair bound, wheelchair bound. You can't get get out, yeah. Um, <laughs> a binding oath is an obligation, yeah. Um, the court's decision binds them to do this, constrains them, orders them with legal authority. Yeah, you bind something with a bandage. Yeah, um, okay, you bind the packets together, you tie them together. Yeah, um, okay, so to... Her cellulose binds water, it holds it in, yeah? Um, so, to bind, to hold together, to make firm, to strengthen, yeah? Okay, and then in a bind, in a difficult situation. So, I think that's probably enough by now. Okay, so let's see, formality, a to bind. I think I would probably give it a six... 6.5 in formality. I think tie is probably more uh, informal. Um, use use bind semi-formally, semi-formal conversation, semi-formal writing, or something more formal. I think if something is, if you are in a bind, I would give that four in formality to be in a difficult situation. And it's a bind always having to do this. It's boring. 4.5 in formality as, as well. <laughs> then as to origin... Okay, it comes from Proto-Germanic bindana, which I think is is to t meaning to tie from Proto-Indo-European bendeti um, to tie together. So it goes back a long way. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Bind to bind binding bound